viewers, I have some cage bearings here, and you can find cage bearings in different places on bikes, like headsets, bottom brackets, and even hubs. And a question that comes up occasionally is which direction to install them. And unfortunately, there's not like a really hard and fast rule on which way, you know, which direction to install them. So you kind of have to understand how they work. Okay. In each of the applications where cage bearings might be used, like headset, bottom bracket, or hubs, the cage bearing is going to fit between a cup and a cone. So like here's the spindle from a uh, bottom bracket here, and this little pointy part here is the cone, and then this part here is the cup. And so the bearings are going to run along this little race here, and they're going to run along the race inside here. Um, and so what you want to make sure is that the bearings are able to have good uh, smooth contact against each of those races there. So like if I fit the, the uh, bearing on here like this, these bearings make good contact with the race on the cone there. But if I were to uh, install the cup over there, this cage here is going to what's be what's making the contact to the inside of the cup there so that's not how it goes but if I flip the uh, bearing around here like this this cage is wide open enough there that it allows it to fit over the cone and the bearings make good smooth contact there and then these bearings here are on the outside there and so if I slide the cup over there like that, they make good contact. And so that is the direction that these particular bearings go on this application here. Now here's another example. This is a bearing from a headset. And then here's what the crown race. This is normally attached to the, uh, the bottom of the steerer on the fork. And again, um, this in this application here, I can fit the bearing on here like this or like this. And in either way, it makes good contact with this uh, crown race here, which is the cone. It's going to go to the inside of the bearing there. And then here's the cup. And this would be uh, attached to the bottom of the head tube here. And then this is the cup there. Um, so if I were to install the bearing like here, it, the bearings make good contact with the race on the crown race there. Um, but if I were going to install this into this cup here that fits on there, again, this cage is going to be making contact with the inside of that cup. So I wouldn't want it that way. So again, here, this, this uh, cage is open wide enough that it's going to fit over the cone there and the bearing is going to make good contact with the inside of that here and then this fits in there like this and so get nice smooth rolling action between those and the ball bearings make good contact with both of the races and so now here is another example it's another crown race from a headset and it's another bearing well notice now here how the cage goes to the inside of the bearings here like that. So in this case, I cannot install the cage part here like this because it's not going to uh, allow the ball bearings to make contact with the race on this cone here. So, but if I flip it over here like this, these ball bearings make good contact with the race on the, uh, the crown race here or on that cone. And here's the cup. If I slide this over here like this, now these bearings here on the outside make good contact with the race in the cup there. And so when I fit it together, I get nice smooth rolling action. So basically you need to look at the particular cage bearing and see how is it going to fit between the cup and the cone and to where the bearings are going to make good rolling contact between the two surfaces there. Anyway, 
I hope that answers the question. Hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, uh, sign up for that page. I have my videos categorized. I have some forums where you can ask uh, questions. Anyway, thank you very much.